Hello, students. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to this course. Okay, you can call me Fiona in class, Fiona. Okay. Um, uh, in this very first lesson, uh, I will first give an induction, okay, to of you. Yeah. And then uh, part two will be a warm up so you can make friends. You need to make good friends here yeah, uh, for the project. That will be a project for the whole semester. All the assignments are based on the project. Okay. Um, and then the last part will be our teaching. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take attendance, take attendance now. Uh, this is our very first lesson. I will also say hello to you and make some social greetings. I would like to say I like uh, uh, nice to meet you. Then you are supposed to respond uh, appropriately. Like uh, you can say nice to meet you too. I will try another way. Like uh, how are you? I uh, simple, right? I'm fine, fantastic, etc. Or I can try another way. It's called um, how are you doing? How are you doing? Not what is how. Just means how are you? How are you doing? So you say like uh, I'm, I'm fine, okay. Uh, I may also try this way. How do you do? How do you do is for first time friends. Um, if I say how do you do, you should respond the same. How do you do? Mary, how do you do? Peter will say how do you do? The same. Different from how are you? Um, but nowadays, even for first time friends, we can still say how are you to sound familiar. Okay. Uh, okay, ready? Yeah, so maybe how are you? I'm fine. How do you do? How do you do? How are you doing? I'm fine, not bad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, something like that. Okay, all right. So let's try now. And also, please uh, tell me your English name uh, because I can remember you much better by your English name. Uh, so now, everybody, uh, can you rename yourself every lesson before, okay? Attendance sticky allow you to rename yourself. Do you know how to do that? You just go to participant at the bottom, participant, and then you see a uh, uh, rename. Okay, I show you uh, the pattern. Right, I share my screen. Okay. Uh, so you should um, rename yourself in this format. Every lesson, I like your English name, my like Peter. Peter uh, will. Uh, come first, Peter, and then I, uh, Siu Kai Hong, uh, Lili, yeah, I need the first name, Peter, okay, at the beginning for easy, okay, recognition, okay, so now let's try, uh, I stop sharing, okay, um, uh, I'll say Abu Kalam, yeah, Hi, how should I call you? You can call me Azad. Uh, uh, Azad, the first yeah, one? Yeah, 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 Azad? yeah, yeah, Azad. So yes. This is your first name, okay. So yes. Azad. Okay, thank you. How are you, Azad? Yeah, I'm good. What about you? Great. I'm excited to meet some new students. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited too. <laughs> okay, uh, next one, uh, Chen Yik Ming. Hello, Chen Yikming. Not yet come. Uh, Chen Sai Wei. Jen, Chen Sai Wei. Oh, not yet come. Uh, Chen Chi Yun. Hello, hello. Hi, Alex Mai. Hello, yes, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You can say nice to meet you too, right? To respond. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you too. Right. Okay. Next one. Jen uh, Yes, I'm here. Hello. 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 How should I call you? Um, I'm Willis. Uh, can, have you renamed yourself? Yeah, I I I, okay, I, I did rename it. Yeah. Hi, Willis. Um, how are you doing? Yes, I'm good. And you? Uh, uh, how? Good. Okay. Good to know you're fine. Uh, Hong Man Ka. Hong Man Ka. No, they yeah, come. Oh. Uh, next one, a long name. Uh, Imino Abu Malik. No, they yeah, come. Oh, okay. Uh, Kim Tae Yun. Yes. Hello, how should I call you? 
Uh, you can call me Timmy. Have you renamed yourself? Yes. Yep, I don't see uh, oh, your Timmy, I said. Okay. Hello, Timmy. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay, great, right? And then, uh, Ko Ho Yin. Hi. Hello, Tim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, next one. Lam Man Tat. Hello. 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 Okay. Teddy, right? Yes. Hello, Teddy. Um, how do you do? Uh, how do you do? Okay. <laughs> okay, next one. Lao Kuo Yam. Lao Kuo Yam. Not here. Uh, Li Li Sing. Hello. Hello. Oh, another team. Uh, team Li. One is Team Ko. Okay. Hello, uh, uh, Team Li. Um, how are you doing? I'm good. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, this one, Li Ye Long. Hello. Hello. Um, how should I call you? Matthew. I've renamed myself already. Matthew, yeah. Can you put Matthew at the beginning? Okay, okay. Bye, bye, bye. Hello, Matthew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh -huh. This one is um, Lui Lai Hong. Hello, hello. My name is Ken. Hello, Ken. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh -huh. uh, Pang Chun, Pang Chong Him. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Angus. Okay, how are you doing? Great. Great. <laughs> okay. Next one, uh, Pang Yuk Ki. Pang Yuk Ki. What you come? Uh, Siu Wei Hin. Hello. Hello, Herman. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, next one. Uh, to Shuk Fan. To Shuk Fan. Hello. Hello, Amanda. Nice to meet you, Amanda. Nice to meet you too. Uh -huh. Next one. Zhang Kai Kuang. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, you can call me Tom. Yeah, yeah, Tom. How are you doing? Yeah, how are you doing? How you, Miss? How are you? How are you doing? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. okay. Next one. Uh, Choi Kai Choi Choi Kin Fei. Hello, hello. Hello, Louis. How are you today? Um, I'm great. Thank you. Good. Uh, Yao Ji Tai. Hello. Hello, uh, Louis. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh -huh. Okay, Yang Chi Feng. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, you are Stephen, right? Yes. Okay, Stephen. Okay, uh, Yim Ka Hin. Yes, hello. Hello, Nelson. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, anyone just come? Anyone there? Here. Yeah, I'm Kyle here. Kyle, Chun Siu Wei. Let's Hi, see nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kyle. Hi, okay. I'm just come. Yes, I'm just come to. Oh, I want by one, okay. Uh, Felix. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yes, Yik I'm Felix. Yik Chen Yik Meng. Oh, Chen yes. Yik Okay, uh, Felix. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello, Felix. Okay, uh, nice to meet you, Felix. Nice to meet you too. Okay, uh, any more? Uh, I'm Humanka Mika and I'm the I'm just coming. Oh, Humanka. Um, how should I call you in class? Uh, Mika. Can you have can you, have you renamed yourself? Trial uh, version. Bye 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 bye. Uh, I mean uh, I mean um Humanka. Yeah, can you rename yourself? At the bottom, there's a button, a participant. You click the button, you see it renamed. I'm renaming myself already. Oh, I see it now. I just see it now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We need uh, Mika. Thank you. Mika, nice to meet you. And uh, nice to meet you. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Any more? Can you hear me? Quark. Is it Oscar? Yes. So we are um K W. Oh, I don't see your name. Maybe maybe just add, is it just add it to the course? Uh, maybe. I don't see your name. 
Um, anyway, I, I put down your name here. Uh, later, you double check, okay? And maybe uh, just add it. All right? Yes. Sorry. Are, yeah. Uh, sorry, you are, can you see my name? You are who? Can you also Wilson? see my name? Are you Wilson? Yeah, I'm Wilson. Uh, I, I, my name is Wilson. Okay, let me handle. Handle Quokka. Okay, okay. Oscar fine. first. Hello, Oscar. What's your full name? Long Kok Diem. Long Kok Diem. I can't see the full name in on the screen. Can you uh, can you type in the chat box? You didn't show your full name. Type in the chat box, please. Okay, Lau Kok Yam. Oh, I see it now. Okay, Lau Kok Yam. Okay, uh, so Oscar. Good. Thank you, uh, Oscar. Welcome to the course. Okay, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. <laughs> okay, uh, Wilson. Uh... Can you see my name on the list? Lee Wai. Uh, Lee yeah, Lee Wai Chun. Yeah. Lee Wai. I don't see your full name. Uh, I mark it down first. Okay. Lee Wai Chun. T-S-U-N. Yes, T-S-U-N. Okay, double check the attendance. Uh, okay, but not on the list. But maybe, do you just add it? Just add to the course? Yes, I just add to the course. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, welcome to the course. Wilson, how are you today? Mm, I'm great. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, any more students? That's all, okay. Hi, Fiona. I, I am Orden. Do you take my attendance? Uh, Wu Ying Kit? Yes. Let's my name see. is Orden. Again, not on the list. Okay, I, write, I have to write add your name here. Uh, but you have to check, make sure your attendance uh, your enrollment is okay. Yes, okay, yes. so you are, um, what's your English name? Alden, A-L-D-E-A. Can you rename yourself, put your English name at the front? Oh, at the front, I put it at the, at the end. Yeah, so that's a pattern, can you put it at the front? Okay, okay. Okay, I'll add it. Is it Alden? Uh, Alden, yes. Elden, okay, good. Hello, Elden. Okay, welcome to this course. Um, how are you today? Mm, I'm fine, thank you. Good, okay. So, students, all here, right? Okay, no more. Okay, good. Um, only one is absent. Is it a uh, Imino Abu Malik absent, right? Okay, uh, okay students. Um, uh, let me start with the course induction. I'll share my screen. Uh, um. Now, actually, all my folders, okay, have been uh, uploaded to my folder. Let me show you, so you can see the, you can see my handout uh, from your computer rather than the share screen. Uh, so you look at uh, 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 my share screen, I'll show you where I put my, all the handouts. All right, yeah. So, uh, I go to our course session site. Um, I, I'm teaching two classes. You are TO1. Uh, so all your assignments, you have to uh, stay TO1. Right? I mean, you, when you start, um, if some technical problem, you don't hear me, uh, you let me know, okay? Or you don't see the share screen, it may be I've forgotten to share the screen. Then you have to let you say, so Fiona, uh, you forgot to share your screen. Welcome to just tell me, okay? Just talk. Uh, don't type in the chat box because I don't see the chat box sometimes when I uh, share in my screen. Just welcome to chat and talk, but not type. Okay, so your mic is uh, compulsory. If you can, you can also share, show me your uh, face. Okay, I will be welcome to see you. Great, but at least the microphone must be ready. Okay, uh, so here, uh, you go to files. You see here, right? Files. And then you see um, Fiona's handout. Okay. Yes, I got some extra handouts, and this are some Google Drive link uh, uh, documents. Yeah, you just click on the link. Now you see lesson one, right? Yeah, just today. You see lesson two, lesson three, uh, before the maybe uh, the night before the lesson. Uh, lesson one. So today I'm going to show you the PowerPoint about the course induction, and then show you um, is the our our student booklet. But it's only the beginning pages because the course leader is still updating, updating the booklet. Yeah, so I just copy uh, 
uh, some pages uh, from uh, semester B, and then I modify the dates. Okay, I'm still waiting for the leader. I'll let you know if the leader has, upload, has uploaded the full version. I'll let you know. Okay, right. So, but, but it's enough for today and for next lesson, even for lesson three. Okay, that's sufficient. Okay, uh, so and now you you can go you can download this for these documents or you can look at the share screen. Okay, so every lesson you go to Fiona's handout because I have a lot of uh, supplementary materials apart from using the course book. I'll supplement this one both. Okay, right. Okay, now so let me go to uh, now uh, I go back to uh, the PowerPoint now. Okay, ready. Okay, engineering, right? Um, the course is to help you to prepare you for to be an engineer in the future in terms of the language aspect. Okay, uh, we'll prepare you as some writing tasks and some speaking tasks. So you can, I uh, hope you can help, can help you for your future work. Um, the outcomes, you're going to uh, learn how to write emails uh, effectively. Like there's some bad news. How do you say that skillfully? And how to make an oral presentation, to present some products, and how to join meetings. What can you say in the meeting? Um, how do you keep the conversation going? How do you disagree politely? How do you agree? How do you elaborate your points? All right, how do you interact well? And then, uh, and then you have to write a blueprint for your, for your product. Um, basically, there are five assignments. Uh, one is the progress report. Um, for details, uh, I don't go to details now, okay? Uh, as a progress report, 20%, a public talk. It's teamwork, teamwork. But you submit your individual video, your solo video, okay? But this teamwork, individually submit your video, okay? And then one is a leader, one is the design engineer, one is the another engineer, okay? But then because of the, uh, the pandemic, right? So you have to upload your video individually, but there's some teamwork involved. Um, email 10%, I says, uh, at least quite very interesting, email and useful. Yeah, how do you address someone? How do you end your email? How do you present bad news? And meeting, 20%, blueprint, uh, also 20, uh, blueprint good work. The whole team submit one blueprint, but then you have to, you have to declare your labor division. Who has written which part? Hopefully there's no free riders and to be fair, okay? And participation is for the whole course. I'll listen to your discussion. I'll ask you many, many questions. Yeah, so you're, are you active in the discussion? Uh, do you take the initiative to answer my questions? Or will be, uh, I will put a record and then that is your participation mark. Also attendance, are you on time? Are, are you abs uh, absent? That is something like that, okay? Yeah. Um, now the project and all the assignments, okay, are based on this uh, contest. There's a senior consultant called Alicia Chen, Alicia Chen, a woman. Uh, before is a uh, Rob Chang. In case some student copy from the previous class, this homework. No, it is now we don't call Rob Chang. It is Alicia Chen. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. And then um, later I'll show you there's some there's a list of topics for you to choose from for your project. Okay, yeah. And then um, if there's a star near the topic, it is for the students from the environment energy department. Then they have to choose those topics with the stars. All right, but more we will explain to you when we go to the list. It's the whole semester, okay, the same project. Okay, um, I'll show you the uh, labor division. Uh, um, a group of three or four students. But, but then we must form group today and finalize the grouping by lesson two. By lesson two, must finalize because the time is very tight. You have to start to work, okay? So today we formed initial grouping and then some students are um, uh, absent. Okay, let's see, okay? so. Uh, Lesson two, finalize, okay. Um, but then there's number three, must be even numbers. Cannot be six, cannot be five groups, must be six groups or eight groups or four groups. Cannot be uh, odd numbers. Why? Because there will be uh, uh, inter-teamwork, 
team one and team two will uh, watch the video together. Okay, so there's some uh, inter-team activity. So it must be even numbers. Yeah, and uh, okay, look, I like this one. Um, four, for example, it is a four student team. One is a leader. Okay, um, and then one is the design engineer. One is a technical engineer. One is a sales engineer for promotion. Okay, yeah. And then uh, if only three people, then the leader can also uh, pick up one of the roles. This leader actually not many things to do. Yeah, you can also, even for the four uh, member team, the leader can also help other members. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, uh, and then the person report to Alisa Chen, but there's some modification now. Uh, not even all the, all the, um, Alicia Chen. Not all the four people report to Alicia Chen. Okay, very simple. Okay, yeah. So I repeat this one. Okay, no. Um, and we don't have five person team. That's no good because you don't have many things to write if five people. I think that's my four. We'll be good for you. Uh, course schedule uh, today, if we talk about uh, secondary research. Because you're going to choose uh, from a list of topics, you can do some research first. Yeah. Okay. See whether the topic is uh, doable. Can you find uh, enough information online? Because the project is just imagination, the blueprint, the solution is imagination. You don't have to design the product actually. So you have to use the, you can use the information from online. Okay. And then you set aside the source, then that's fine. Can be imagination can be taken from online information, but with citation. All right, yeah. Uh, next, uh, lesson two, we talk about a presentation. How do you present effectively oral presentation? And then progress report, yeah. And lesson four, and uh, more about presentation skills, like your eye contact, your voice, etc. And then the progress report, we got the draft. Uh, maybe with lesson four or lesson five, you bring to class, and then we do peer feedback means your, your partner will look at your uh, report and give you some comments. Depends on your progress, okay? Maybe lesson four, maybe lesson five. And then uh, the due day, here, here. The progress report, the due day, uh, look at the, um, the student book, I'll show you later. The actual date for the progress report. Okay, lesson six, uh, uh, lesson six, no lesson. Lesson six, you, are, you have one day off, okay? Um, uh, you can prepare your uh, presentation, but I will be here. I will be on standby in the Zoom classroom, but you don't have to come. But you can come to ask me questions, okay? And then week seven is the public talk viewing week. What does it mean? It means you have to have an appointment, team one and team two. Say come from uh, 12 o'clock to one o'clock is team one and team two. And then uh, one to two is team three and team four. They will come together, watch, watch the video of the other team. Yeah, so it's called Viewing Week. Lesson A is uh, something called Information Gap Activity. You must come, uh, not assess, but you must come. Otherwise, you lose some marks for your participation. What's the purpose of the meeting? Is to uh, let the client team and the project team will exchange information. So you know what the client wants and your blueprint should be based on your client's requirement. Okay, just to find out what they want, the client, what they want. Uh, and then we, lesson nine, uh, okay, emails, uh, teaching emails. Uh, lesson 10, teaching groupings. And the email deadline is uh, look at the uh, course book. Uh, lesson 11, uh, meetings. Yeah, what do you say in the meeting? And then assignments. Um, okay, uh, lesson 12. And lesson no no class you don't have to come again your day your day off okay uh, but then the meeting deadline is uh, I can see the deadline there and the blueprint deadline so you don't have to come but I will be in the classroom for you to ask questions you can use the time to have to record the meetings it is a meeting to be recorded beforehand okay and then uh, it's in it's internal meeting it's within your team within your team the four people look at the draft the blueprint and then comment on each other's uh, uh, contribution and improve the blueprint. And you make the, and then record the meeting, uh, maybe in Zoom and send me the link. Okay, yeah. Okay, so far. Mm. 
uh, 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 say more. Okay. Um, no. Um, the um, the Tugas report here, Tugas report about four hundred words, about four hundred words. Um, uh, that's a word limit. Uh, don't don't over by ten percent. It's uh, over by ten percent. You lose marks, legal penalty for uh, being too long. Okay. Um, um, public talk assessment too. You got individual mark and good mark. The team cooperation. Yeah, individual uh, video recorded beforehand. Uh, but there's some some connection between each speaker. Okay. Um, pre-recorded. Uh, five minute solo. Um, penalty if, if you overrun by two minutes. Okay, email uh, ten percent. Uh, about one hundred eighty words. Again, uh, at most ten percent over. Okay. Uh, meeting and proofing the meeting link the video. Again, is a uh, good work and meet individual. In this look at your pronunciation, your interaction skill, group is whether whether the meetings objectives can be met. But the members make the meeting productive. Okay, um, uh, uh, forget the work with okay, forget the work with thirteen rather right? for semester B. Look at the actual deadline. Okay, forget those things, right? Yeah. Uh, the meeting about twenty five minutes something, but I'll let you know at the exact time. Four people, how many minutes? Three people, how many minutes? Okay, maybe uh, more details later. Again, don't overrun. Uh, grouping is a uh, good work. Good work. I forget that due date, okay? Yeah. Um, but each member must write at least 600 words, at least 600. And the whole document is at most 3,500. Okay. Um, and then again, there's a work distribution form. You have to declare who has written what parts and how many words. Just to make sure uh, there's no free riders and happier cooperation. Okay. Then you know you will be no, uh, your work with. Your contribution will be noticed. Okay, a uh, late submission. Um, uh, uh, if assignment due day, you're late, uh, deduct five marks per day. After seven days, no mark. Okay, so don't be late, students. Uh, uh, absence and uh, lateness uh, linked to your class participation. Yeah, yeah, late and affect the marks, okay, participation. Um, if you don't join the lesson A, the information gap activity also affect your participation mark. Uh, if you absent three times, three lessons or more than zero, you lose ten percent of the marks. Okay. Mm. Uh, if you have got evidence like you're ill, then you'll be exempted, of course. Uh, punctuality. If you're one hour late, although you come in the second hour, you'll be marked as absent. Okay, that's a policy. Okay. Uh, if you're a SEN student, uh, I think you you got uh, you have to complete some form, okay, from to to our. I think you know this right, or you can also email me, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mentioned this already, right? Yeah. Uh, plagiarism. Remember, don't copy anything without <laughs> citing the source. As I said, that the project is just imagination. Yeah. Uh, you can use the online material, but you have to cite the source. Whatever photos. Images, whatever you taken from the website, just mention the source. Inter citation, uh, like the, the author's name, Smith, uh, and the 2000, the publication year, we do. Okay, yeah. And then this will be a reference list at the end, the reference list of the whole report. Uh, assignments to turn it in. Cut off time is 11 59 a.m. Uh, p.m. on that day. If you need help, uh, you can, you know, we got some uh, language advisors. Uh, from the uh, LC um, uh, website, there are some workshops and some. Uh, so uh, I explain maybe next lesson. There are some uh, advising session you can go to. You can bring your drafts to the tutor. They can give you some comments about the general general problem, like grammar mistake or general organization problems. Okay, maybe next lesson. Okay, if you want to use those uh, services. Okay, um, we form group today for the whole project, whole semester, and lesson two, finalize the grouping. Uh, actually, all the assessment tasks is in the full student course book. Not yet, not yet uploaded because the leader is still the leader is still updating the book. Okay, yeah, you see all the ass assignment information, everything is in the thick, very thick 
post booklet. Yeah, um, if you think you cannot attend the first three lessons, you better drop the course. Okay, if you unable to attend the first three lessons, better drop the course. This is very important, right? You got the grouping and many things. Okay. Uh, this, uh, this is the data about the recording and uh, maybe really so early, right? Yeah, we talk about this uh, when we come to the assignment. All right, yeah. Okay, and then um, I'd like to show you is uh, uh, our um, course book, more information. Okay. Um, some, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, here, okay, student book uh, beginning pages. I just uh, taken uh, the first 20 pages. All right. Okay. Now there are three parts. Part A is the course syllabus, by the uh, course map. Uh, uh, look at part A. Uh, I don't repeat that. Uh, similar to the PowerPoint information. Uh, but you see, right? Yeah, so the five assessments. Yeah, so I don't repeat here. But the due days, I'm going to tell you now, the due days, the exact due days. Now, so for the progress report, you got the draft work, right? The draft work, don't assess that the uh, draft work. Uh, you bring to class the progress report. You bring to class for peer feedback. Maybe lesson four, maybe lesson five, depends on your progress, okay? So maybe lesson five, I guess. And then progress report is that the final version, the due date is, is one day after lesson five. What is that? Look at your core, your class, T01. T01 is your class. So T01, the due date is June the 23rd. It's exact due date for progress report. Lesson six, no lesson, right? Uh, you're, when they off, when they off. Okay. And then public talk means the oral presentation. Uh, the due date is uh, one day before lesson seven. What's that? Um, T01. It is uh, June 28th, okay? You submit your uh, video link, individual video, okay? And then uh, email, email. Uh, it is one day after lesson 10. One day after lesson 10. Exactly is uh, uh, TO1, June, uh, July the set, July the live. Okay, 9th of July. Okay, and then um, week 12 and week 13, uh, you, you have days days off. I will be here in the Zoom meetings. And the due day, the meeting due day, meeting video, the link, uh, is the second day of lesson three, uh, lesson 13, second day after lesson 13. For your class, the exact day is uh, July 23rd. And then for the blueprint, it is the fourth day after lesson 13 so for your class is uh, t01 is july 25th okay the due dates mm. uh, if there's a holiday uh, there's no makeup lesson it's inconvenient to find time together but i will teach faster i'll teach faster and also assign you to do some self-studying etc okay yeah um uh, uh, again, I don't repeat this one. All, so all the information here, I just explained uh, using PowerPoints. I don't repeat here. Plagiarism. Okay, and then uh, this uh, very thick student course book, uh, part B is about the, uh, part B is about the instructions of the every assignment. So I have to go here very often, look at the topics and look at the word limit, etc. Now, so this is the background of all the assessment tasks. Okay, um, all, one to all, all the assessments will be like this. Uh, one project leader, one design engineer, one technical engineer, and one sales engineer. Okay, um, all the person report to Alisa Chen. Yeah. Uh, progress report, okay, we talk about this next lesson. We'll talk about uh, the report next lesson, not now, okay? Yeah. So this is the, uh, the information about the progress report. 
and this is about the all present the public talk, the solo presentation. We talk about this next lesson. I no need to talk about now. But here's the topic. You see, now, this is the topics. We got energy problems. We got uh, pollution problems. We got uh, automation problems, uh, biomedical problems, and education problems. And then every problem this got right one, two, three, four, five, about six here, and then uh, about four here. You have to choose one as your uh, group project. The one topic only for the whole semester for the five assignments. Okay, and then um, after class today, after class today, you choose three. You choose any possible three you like to do. You can do some research and then see what's workable. And then you bring to class lesson two. You bring the three possible topics to class. And then we do lucky draw. Okay. We we'll do a uh, we'll draw lots. See which see whether you can get your first choice. Okay, you prepared one, two, three. If number one taken by another group, then you've got number two. All right. Yeah, we'll tell I'll tell you more. Uh the order to choose your topics. Okay. But you prepare three possible topics. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so far. And then uh, more is about what to say in the, I will talk about this next lesson, about the uh, lesson two and lesson three. Not this so early. Uh, the recording details. Uh, not this so early. I remind you, lesson six, your day off. Lesson seven, I'll pair you up. Two teams come maybe one, one o'clock to two o'clock to watch each other's video together. Okay. Okay, so that is about, that is about the, uh, part B is the assignment details, and then part C is the actual units, study units. Today we'll use uh, unit one, unit one, okay, look at a secondary research, okay? Um, um, I'll stop sharing now. <laughs> uh, so still I talked so long, right? Yeah, you may be feeling, you may be uh, tired now. Uh, so let me now go to part two, a warm up, make, let you make friends, okay, and then turn the table around, you're the focus of the a class, not me. Okay, I'm going to uh, let you go to big hotel rooms, and then uh, you can have a chat with your group mates to make friends. But talk about what? Uh, let me uh, again uh, share my screen. Okay, look at this one. Yeah. Okay. Now we just cover. Uh, this is my lesson plan. Right? We just cover the induction PT PowerPoint. Uh, my handouts, the canvas site, and the course book, right? Yeah. Let me go to warm up. Uh, what to, how to do warm up? I'd like to, you to just uh, uh, suggest some topics to me for conversation. Imagine that later, okay, you got some uh, classmates sitting in the same big rooms uh, or someone, okay, beside you. What can you talk about? Any uh, interesting topics for conversation for first time friends? Or what do you like to know from your classmates? Okay, now, um, I'll give you a ten seconds <laughs> to think about uh, what conversation topic or what question uh, good for first time friends. I ask one by one, one by one, one by one. Okay, yeah. Ready? <laughs> um, if you don't have ideas, uh, don't feel stressed. Just say pass, like right? game pass, then pass to your pass to the student, but I hope you can try, okay, before you say pass, but it's okay to pass. Okay, let's start now. Um, I said, hello, I said, oh, not here, I said, then I put a close, then I go to Felix. Hello, Felix. Yes. Oh, okay, luckily, I think technical problems. Okay. Uh, uh, anything Maybe. you want to talk about? Uh, ask about their hobby. Ah, good. Okay, hobbies. Thank you. Uh, Kyle? Uh, self introduction, like uh, my major. Ah, oh, yeah, good point, right? Yeah, what's the major? Good. Uh, Alex? Uh, I'll ask the target. The, the career target. Oh, very good, right? Yeah, maybe yeah. career expectation. Wow. Okay. Okay, done, right? Uh, thank you. Willis. Um, maybe um, we can talk about, we can share, we can try to describe our personality to oh, each other. 
Ah, uh, good. Okay, good topic. Yeah, yeah. Your personality. Yeah, good. Okay, are you active? Are you quiet? Yeah, good. Okay, personality. Uh, Mika. Uh, uh, what they like to do, uh, in their future or in the leisure time. Oh, okay. A uh, good. But maybe I can group them together. Uh, like hobbies and then like a career expectation. Okay. Okay, Mika. Hello, Mika. Would that be okay? I cook them together. Yes, yes. Good. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, first one confirmed. Uh, Imino Abu Malik, are you here? Still not here. Okay, Timmy. I think we can talk about the favorite film or book. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good. Uh, good, good. Uh, favorite movies, films, uh, movies, uh, books. Okay, good point. Good. Uh, Tim, Tim Cole. And maybe talk about what we do in free time or just spend our time in. Just okay, similar okay. to the interest or hobby. Okay, I just group them together. My hobbies, okay. okay? Mm. Good. Teddy. Uh, uh, pass. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, Oscar. Pass. Can't hear you, Oscar. Pass. A uh, pass. Okay, fine. Uh, Tim. Tim Lee. Uh, I answered already. A uh, Tim Lee answer already. Oh. Let's see, Tim Lee. Oh, that Tim Lee. Tim Lee. Oh, Tim. oh sorry. <laughs> that then maybe Tim Lee. <laughs> Skip Tim Lee. Ah, uh, Tim Lee. Tim Lee Kim. Hello, yes. Tim Lee. Oh, can you just pass? Are you Tim Lee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any topic? Uh. No, can I just oh, okay. pass? You can say pass now. Okay, fine. Doesn't matter. Matthew. Yeah. Uh, um, I think it's almost. I can't think about more new, new thing. Sorry. Okay. You you mean pass? Yes. A oh, pass. Let's like pass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Ken. Hello. Hello. Uh, I mean. Like favorite course in the CTU. Ah, good, good. Okay, good, good. Ah, very good. Okay. Ah, uh, favorite course taken. Yeah. Okay, fine. Thank you. Ah, uh, Angus. Hmm. Pass. Ah, uh, pass. Ah, uh, uh, Pang Yu Ki, are you here? No, still absent. Yes. Who still does absent? Ah, uh, Herman. Yeah, I'm here. I'm Pang Yu Ki. Oh, you're late. Uh, what's your English name? Yuki. Uh, Yuki. Okay, welcome to this course. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, any topic you'd like to talk about? Uh, what's your summer plan? Uh, summer plan? Okay, interest. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, Her oh. Yuki. Uh, Herman. Herman. Um, pass. A uh, pass, okay. Uh, Amanda. I'm oh, sorry, I have no idea. Pass. Okay, fine, fine. Tom? Um, I think maybe uh, what is the target uh, in this course? Yeah. Maybe okay, okay. About this. A good, good. The re expectation or course expectation, okay? Yeah. Thank you, fine. Louis? Um, I think maybe you can share some fun things to others, like oh. a joke or something to warm oh. the. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. A joke or something. Uh, maybe uh, some uh, funny experience. Is it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Good. Yeah. Huh? There are two Louis. Louis Choi. Are you Louis Choi? Yes. Okay. And then Louis Yao. Oh, so, sorry. My name is Woody. Huh? My name is Woody. Ah, Woody. Ah, oh, sorry. Woody. Okay. Yeah. 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 Woody. Woody. Oh. Okay. Mm. 
I think can talk about what is your favorite food. Oh yes, food <laughs> very important. Yeah, food is a good topic. Good, Woody. Thank you, uh, Stephen. Sorry, I have no idea. Okay, never mind. Uh, Nelson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hmm. Hello. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I can ask where where they live, where they live. Okay, where they live, right? I put here a small topic. Okay, okay, and then uh, some, um, Wilson. Hmm. This part I can't think of. Something. Okay, fine. Uh, Alden. Uh, I think we can talk about uh how you what skill you can learn from this code to implement for your future. Careers life. Hmm. Okay. How about just group them together? Uh, close to number six. Okay. Oh. Okay. Fine. Okay. Now, uh, so uh, 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 this one, the funny thing, like you, you can all talk about traveling. Have you traveled somewhere before? Anything funny? Any interesting culture? Or if you could travel again, where would you like to travel to? Okay. Travel is a good topic. Okay. All right. So um, six topics, right? Yeah. So what to do now? Now I'm going to. Uh, you can take a photo. Uh, quite often you need two devices you can take a photo yeah uh if you, and then later you talk about these topics in the bigger rooms uh we'll be like this student a will talk for one minute non-stop you can talk about any of the topics you can talk about personality you can talk about summer plan whatever just one minute non-stop okay like presentation and then student b will also talk for one minute non-stop okay any topic you like when all the four students uh, finish and then you can start to ask questions and then a conversation. All right. And then the outcome after the five minutes uh, chatting, I like you, when you go back to the main session, you have to introduce one of your classmates to us. Uh, for example, after chatting, oh, uh, I would like to, in, hi, I'm, I'm Fiona. I'd like to introduce uh, Woody. Then you talk about Woody's answer to these questions. All right. Okay. Uh, know what to do? Mm. Okay. Have you taken? Um, a photo or draw down some notes. Okay. So I stop sharing now. You go to big rooms. Um, um, twenty five students. Maybe I make a five, uh, six rooms. Then faster. Okay, uh, six rooms. Um, you can write down your group members' name, and you can also write down whether you are student A, B, C, D, E. Because in, uh, in this uh, course, there are many, many questions, many games. Make you want, make you uh, relax, and make you learn, and make you be active. As soon as I follow the letter, your A, B, C, D, to ask you questions. Yeah, so I hope, uh, be, I hope uh, all students can participate well. Not just the strongest students uh, answer questions all the time. I hope all the students have a chance to practice English and to interact. Okay. All right, so today, today, the grouping is like this, just for the for the big room activities. Okay, open the room now. Okay, now room one, I see on my computer screen, Alex, you are A, Alex. Uh, Timmy, Timmy, Kim, you are student B, Tom, and then Willis. Okay, so four students. Uh, room two, Azeb is the student A. Uh, Louis, student B, Oscar, and then Stephen. It is uh, room three. Uh, it's room two. Room three. The first one is Herman. Herman is A. Ken is B. Nelson. Nelson Carl. Uh, Nelson Yim. And then Tim Lee is a uh, uh, student D. Room f room four. A is Alden, and Matthew. Uh, Teddy, and last one's Yuki. Yuki is student D. And room five, Amanda is the first student, so that is A. Angus is B. Kyle, C. And Wilson is D. And then room six. Room six is uh, Felix, is A. Mika is B. Tim Cole. And Woody, okay, yeah, uh, all right. Uh, so I'm going to open the big rooms. 
uh, welcome to and then uh, enjoy your chat. Okay, make some. This university is very important to students. You can make. You may find your lifelong friends at university. The pandemic, right, uh, affects our uh, interest. But the super rooms can again also make friends. You have to do the best, right, and make friends. Okay, so that's uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Now mind your time. Don't over talk, right? About one. Look at your watch. About one minute for one student. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's start now. Five minutes.
Hello, students. Welcome back. Hope you have enjoyed okay, the chit chatting with your new friends. Okay. Um, um, this time is running short. I can, cannot have too, too long for you to chat. Um, now, I'd like you to have a report back. Uh, just introduce one of the classmates to us. Yes, hello, I'm Fiona. I'd like to introduce who and then about his or her answers to those questions. Um, I, I like um, every room. Anyone like to volunteer? You see from my right, uh, my looks right, your names are here. Uh, I'll put a take. Anyone, if you volunteer to answer my question, volunteer, I'll put a take. Then you get, uh, when I mark your, I give you a mark for your participation at the end of the course, uh, based on how many takes you have got. And also on, based apart from the quantity, about the quality in the discussion, if um, can you give good points? Are you active? And all kinds of things. Okay, uh, can you ask good questions? Okay, yeah. So uh, this is my record for me to give you a mark for participation. So, and also uh, many competitions. We have a prize, uh, a real prize at the end of the course. I'll give, um, uh, when I travel somewhere, I'll give, uh, buy some souvenir for my students. And if the student has the highest bonus marks, you get a souvenir for me and I travel to like uh, Japan, Australia, South Africa. Yeah, some uh, souvenirs to be sent to your home if still uh, go to don't go to campus. Okay, all right. So hope you can participate well, enjoy the course and relax and learn, learn more. Okay, so now room one, anyone like to participate, uh, to volunteer, just uh, uh, say, uh, tell me your name, like uh, uh, Alex. Uh, really, just tell me. Hello, hello, I'm Alex. Okay, good, Alex. Okay, good, try. Uh, I I remember Timmy. Uh, Timmy has the same hobbies and uh, the same favorite food with me. Uh, we both love eating sushi and love playing the computer game called LOL. Haha. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, That's all. That looks finished, right? Uh, okay. And uh, maybe I I remember. Uh, Timmy's major, which is nuclear engineering, and remember really uh -huh. and and sorry, I forget, I forgot his name. Um, they are major, uh, uh, electrical engineer. Uh huh. Okay, thank you, right? Thank uh, you, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, group uh, two. Any volunteers? Yes, I would like to speak. Uh, is that right? Okay. okay yeah. Good. Go ahead. Mm. So I met Louis. He's from mechanical engineering, I guess. Uh, and uh, I was I met Stephen too. Uh, he's actually in his final year. Uh, he's also doing an internship over the summer, which is really good. Uh, and I had Oscar in my room, but uh, I think he is probably having a microphone problem, so he couldn't speak. Yeah, that's all from me. Yeah. Can you uh, focus on one? Can you fo also fo focus on one single student and tell me more about that particular single student? One person. Uh, focus on one single student and then tell me more about that student. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So uh, I actually liked Stephen more because he was uh, really open. He was actually talking about his work and he was also talking about his personal life and. Uh, uh, how he has been doing with the university, like uh, with his studies and everything. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and uh, I think that's all from me. Okay, good. Thank you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, next one is uh, room three. Anyone? Mm. Room three. <laughs> Volunteers. Hello, I'm Helen. Oh, okay, good. Try. Mm. Uh, I want to talk about Nelson. Okay. He yeah. loves playing computer games such as Apex Legend, and his major his major is civil engine engineering, uh -huh. and he is year one uh -huh. student. Uh huh. That's all. Oh, thank you. Right. Thank you, Herman. Okay. Uh, room four. I'm Eldon. Uh, Hi, Eldon. Yeah. I will. I would like to introduce Teddy. Uh, he is a mechanical engineering student mm -hmm. and he's happy. His hobby is playing video games, mm -hmm. uh, such as some League of Legends, something like that. And his uh, summer plan is um, uh, work hard on this, this summer semester to get a good grade. Okay, 
Uh-huh. Yes, it. Okay, thank you, right? Thank you, Herman. I think Elden, right? Okay. And room five. Room yeah, five. I'm Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Okay, yeah. Mm. Uh, I would like to introduce Wilson. Okay. Uh, Wilson is a nice guy and he love a uh, local drama at the TV like uh, Miwa and Ewa. Uh, sorry. That's all. That's all. Thanks. Okay, fine. We don't have any conversation, actually. Okay. Actually, we don't have any conversation. Why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> sorry. Miss, no, no, no discussion. <laughs> Uh, next time, okay, that, that should be it. Okay, next time, the first time. Next time, there should be a mic. If you open the mic and say something, yeah, okay. Okay, that's I, the best. I hope you don't mind, Wilson. Mm, I, I don't mind, actually. Okay, okay. It's that's quite enough. good. Okay, next time, okay. Mm, okay, good. Okay, so I got Kyle presented, and then room six. Uh, hello, I'm Mika, and I would like to introduce Woody. And uh -huh. Woody is a guy that uh, studied in uh, year two and study in mechanical engineering is he is a craft people and like to play basketball and dancing and he like uh, he also likes playing video games and want to join mtl in the future mm, mm. And, uh, okay good right thank you thank you uh maker right okay now uh free competition anyone like to present anyone you just tell me uh room three for example uh, i'm from room three um uh, team lee i'd like to uh, introduce one of my classmates yeah, anyone like to present? No? Okay, no? It doesn't matter, okay. So now, uh, we're going to the end, almost the end of the game. Now I'm going to introduce myself, right? I, because the first lesson, uh, a little bit, okay, uh, it's time to talk about myself, so you can know me more, okay, rather than just a teacher, okay? So I, I use the same questions. Uh, let me share the screen. Okay, here. All right. Yeah. So, um, uh, what's my name, students? How should I, how should I call you in class? Uh, can you just answer me, anyone? Yeah. Uh, what's my name? Oh, <laughs> can you give Fiona. me some? Yeah. Fiona. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah, just call me Fiona. Okay. Um, my hobbies when I was a university student, I was, I was very sportive. I always uh, did the long distance running, eight hundred meters, uh, one thousand five hundred, okay, etc. But then I ran too much, and then I hurt my knees and tendon. Now I can't run. I just uh, uh do swimming uh, often. Okay. Uh, when there's no pandemic, okay. Uh, also did a lot of uh, when I was younger, okay, at university I did a. Uh, yoga but also now yoga a little bit yoga uh tai chi a little bit okay and also a uh, road skipping okay road skipping uh, my major when i was a student was uh, applied linguistics applied linguistics means how to teach english how to teach writing speaking and those things and i like my major and i like my my job i like teaching very much i enjoy being in the classroom um, playing with my students and help them get a good grade and pass the course and make them learn like English and become friends, okay? Um, um, and then, because running short the time, I just talk about a few questions. I like to talk about uh, my favorite something, yeah? I like to talk about my favorite teacher, you know? I'm a teacher, of, but of course I was a student. I've met many teachers. One of them very special, I like to talk about him, a very special teacher. I call him Professor Kaplan. Okay, he's a he's a writing expert, a writing expert. He got many many books published. Um, he's American, American. Uh, I met him in nineteen eighty six when I did my master degree at the Chinese U. Okay, he was an American. He just came to uh, Chinese U for one semester. He was on a Fulbright scholarship. Very smart uh, uh, scholar, just come for one term at Chinese U, I, and I was lucky to be his student. And then after this course, very strange, we have developed very deep bonding. Okay, and then um, you know, over the last twenty five years something, we email each other almost every day, every day email each other. Talk about what? Talk. I'm asking many grammar questions like about teaching questions. Um, um. 
you know why I like him so much? Because he helped me a lot. When I was uh, when I did my master's degree, he helped me proofread every single sentence. And when this got questions, he guided me to think for myself. Even for my doctor degree, seven years, very lonely. He also helped me, like a mentor, like my mentor, and then helped me proofread several times, and then answer many many questions. But uh, above all, he helped me to think, to guide me, to think, to find the answers myself. So he's he's very knowledgeable, and he's very passionate about helping students. Because I uh, I asked him, Professor Kaplan, why are you so good to me? Or oh, so nice? Okay, uh, help me a lot with my research. He said, No, I'm good to all my students. He said. Students are my lifelong commitments. I want to see them successful in their life. So I'm very touched. Okay, so I asked him, um, Professor Kaplan, how should I return your favor? He said, No need. You just be good to your students. I said, I will try my best. I'm no match, right? But uh, I will try. Okay, so very, um, because I haven't seen him for more than 25 since 1986, I haven't seen him. But I miss him a lot, right? I want to say thank you in person for helping my doctor degree. I want to say thank you in person. Okay, and then luckily about three years ago, I got a chance to go to Vancouver. Go to Vancouver uh, in Canada. Okay, because there's a conference. Vancouver and his home is very close. He lives in the USA. Uh, he lives, uh, my teacher lives in Port Angeles. It is a very small port in the US, near Canada. Okay, and then that year I was excited because I I um, I visited my best friends, a Canadian friend, uh, my former colleague here, and my favorite teacher. Okay, so um, you know, you're Canadian. They don't like to take planes. They like to make road trips. Do you, do you watch road trip students? Road trips. Anybody knows? Means they drive long hours drive long hours, eight hours, 10 hours from Canada to the USA. So my, my, my colleagues, my former colleagues, he, uh, they drove me from Canada to the USA. I remember we set off at eight o'clock in the morning and then kept driving. I was very excited, right? My first time. And then uh, about six o'clock in the evening, we arrived in the USA. And then, um, then when I pressed the doorbell of my teacher, my heart pumped faster excited to see him after 20 more than 20 years i pressed the doorbell ding dong and then i saw my teacher coming out much older the hair much grayer more than 20 years but still healthy we had good heart okay and then and then um we chat and then we chatted about three hours about linguistics about conferences he cooked me dinner he cooked me steak and pudding and after dinner we also chatted for about one hour and then i had to go i was a bit sad at that moment do you know why I felt sad? Because I worry he might die. <laughs> I couldn't see him again. Okay, he's very old. Do you know how old is he now, students? You may guess. 90 already, maybe. Oh, very good, oh, very good, okay. It's 91 this year, okay? Yeah, Um. but I have to go anyway, right? But then, you know, the words very strange. Just uh, the following year, I got another chance to go to the USA. So at this time, I asked, I asked him, Professor Kaplan, by email, could I stay in your home for one night in this visit? That's not because I want to save money for hotel. I just want to have more memory, create more memory for myself, okay, and more interaction. He said, okay. And then he made me a very, a bit, a bit, a bit a room for me, very neat and tidy, pillowcases, very, very tidy. And he cooked me breakfast, uh, omelet and uh, omelet and, and milk, etc. I also chatted and then I had to go the next morning. But this time I didn't feel so sad because he looked very healthy. So I feel I can see him again. And at that time I plan I'll visit him every year until until he's 100 years old. Okay, so I just want to tell you, if you see, if you come across some good teacher, try to build good relationship, they can help you with like your mentor. They can write you good recommendation letter and give you guidance, advice about your career. Okay, then you'll, you'll be a smoother future. Okay, so I just want to tell you, Professor Kemp is a knowledgeable teacher and is a model teacher, good to help students and enthusiastic about helping students. I'm very touched. Okay, yeah. So, and then I go to another topic quickly about traveling. Okay, I like traveling, I travel a lot. 
uh, over the last uh, 10 years, especially at conferences. But two are very special, two private trip, private trip, okay? One is to uh, South Africa, South Africa, with my family. I got uh, a daughter older than you. She is uh, uh, just uh, graduated last year and then working. The first time, first year working, okay? Yeah. Um, and my husband, we will join a tour to uh, South Africa. Do you know South Africa, famous for what students? South Africa, famous for... May I guess, students? South Africa, <laughs> famous for what? I know, coffee. Rugby. Sorry? Coffee, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah coffee and, yeah. Um, and? Animals. Yeah, wild animals, right. And diamonds, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wild animals, you know, very exciting. We came across a, a herd of huge wild elephants. No elephants, very tall, huge. The leader is so tall. Wow, it's really tall. And then we had a confrontation, uh, but but I, I can't go into details. We just had confrontation. The 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 leader, the elephant, a wild elephant, wanted to attack our car, wanted to overthrow our car. And then we were very scared, the, about 20 people in the car, very scared. Luckily, the local driver, I mean the local tour, the guide, he, he's very brave. And then he started to bend the car door, like this, bend the car door. He wanted to frighten the elephant off. Then we all help. We also crazily help to bend the car door, like this crazily, want the elephant to go away. Luckily, the elephant was scared and then turn away a little bit. And then at once we drove away, we escape. Yeah, very scary. The elephant look at us. Okay, the, uh, the trunk is up and looking and then shaking the head, very angry for some reasons. Okay, and that's so exciting. I got some video I can show you, okay, so how exciting it was. Okay, this is about the exciting with the wild animals. They're crossing the road, but then something made him angry, okay, yeah. And then one is about uh, to Hokkaido, very interesting. Uh, it's a, a, an accident almost died. Uh, it's to Hokkaido in Christmas about uh, two years ago with my daughter. Uh, we joined two again, and then it was snowing in Christmas. And then there's a slope, uh, very uh, low slope, and covered with snow. And we were on motorbike, your motorbike, the game is motorbike. And then my girl was at the front, I was at the back, okay, on one single motorbike. And then we're happy, but that's, it was snowing heavy, so beautiful, the forest. And then suddenly the motorbike was out of control and my daughter screamed, couldn't stop, like a roller coaster, couldn't stop. He, she screamed, I also screamed. And then in a minute, I fell on the floor. I felt, I, I guess I, I lost conscious for, for about one, two seconds. I fell onto the, onto the ground, but luckily I fell onto some snow and under got water. So I, I was flew into the sky and then fell on the, on the ground, but with water, luckily. So I didn't uh, get hurt, but I was all wet, so cold, okay? I got all wet, okay? And then, but, and then one minute later, something fell on me and that's my daughter. My daughter fell on my chest, okay? So I was at the cushion. So she, she wasn't hurt. I wasn't hurt either because it's, it's water, so lucky. But then it was so scary, almost died. If we had landed on the land or the other side of the cliff, it's bottomless cliff, we would have died. Okay, so, so uh, still scary of the experience. Okay, so, okay, students, uh, that's about my, I hope you know me more about my, uh, my introduction. Okay, hope to see you one day on campus. I can tell you more about the fun, okay? So students, uh, stop sharing. Okay, now we take a good break. Okay, any question before we take a break? about me or about uh, the course. I, I right here, I right here. Uh, in 10 minutes, that is 10, uh, 125, you come back on time. If you, if I, if you are late, I'm not as absent for 15 minutes or more, okay? So be on time, otherwise you learn less, okay? Yeah, so uh, I opened the big car room. Uh, so students, if you want to make friends, talk more, you can go to big car rooms, yeah? Okay, so I opened the big, welcome to join the rooms or you don't have to, up to you. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'll see you um, in 10 minutes. Mm.
Hello, students. Welcome back to the main session. Let's start part two now. Okay, I, again, I share my screen. I will look at the, 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 the instant. This is my breadboard, okay? My instant notes. We just finished uh, the warm up, right? The warm up. Now we go to, now we start teaching now. It's the first unit about second do research. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate, okay, some databases to you called Scopus. And then I'm going to teach you um, how do you recognize um, a publication type, whether it's, a head, whether it is a journal, whether it is a book, whether it is a website, whatever, okay? Yeah, so that's my teaching points. And then maybe uh, you practice uh, to analyze whether an article is from a book or from a newspaper or from what. I'll show you the answer key at the end of the lesson and also show you two websites for you to, company websites for you to find information about your topic. Okay, yeah. And then we'll form groups at the end of the, uh, maybe about uh, 15 minutes something, we'll form groups. Okay. Mm. And so now we go to uh, unit one. You can look at the share screen or you can go to uh, my folder, get the student book. All right. Uh, unit one, the page number is uh, number 18. Number 18. Okay. Um, do a secondary research. Uh, it means uh, a primary means uh, you have to means you collect data like you do a questionnaire, you do a survey, you do experiment, then the results you get is called primary data. Secondary means you don't have to do, you don't have to have survey or questionnaire, rather you just go to the library and find the information online, then it's called secondary research. Find the information from previous scholars, okay? For your assignments, uh, all the information is uh, should be secondary. Or, or your imagination, no need to do a survey, no need to do interview, okay? Yeah, all right. <clears throat> and also when I'm teaching, uh, I, will, I will always ask you questions to get your attention uh, in the form of competition. I'll, 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 I'll go to room one and student A first. If the answer is right, you've got one bonus mark. If maybe uh, only uh, half right, give you half a mark or maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3, okay, just for fun, okay? Yeah, and then, um, um, and then I'll go to student B, so take turns to answer my questions. And if student A like uh, got the answer wrong, no penalty. I put a happy face. Happy face means zero, but it's happy face, okay? Uh, but you can try again. If you try again, you get 0 0.9 at most. Uh, group members can help. Group members can help that student. If you hear something wrong, you don't want the group to get zero marks, then you help. Okay, helping, uh, the whole group can get up to 0.9. If you help, you get one bonus, one tick, means you're active to help our classmates, okay? So any volunteers, volunteers or helping people, um, you, you just say uh, like uh, room two, uh, Oscar, and then you can answer. Or room three, uh, Nelson. Yeah, for this pattern, room one, room two, and then your name. That can quickly uh, find, I, I need to find your name on my list, right? Okay, so let's try now. I'll explain, I'll ask you, get your attention, okay? So let's start now. Uh, we we'll do this later. What are reliable sources? What are unreliable sources? This, um, this time's running short. I talk about the most important things in case not enough time. Uh, that you have to use reliable sources in your research. Uh, don't use unreliable like a Wikipedia. Okay, that is unreliable. Yeah. Um, reliable. That's a key concept. If there's a gatekeeper, you gatekeeper. Like an editor, he can decide whether to publish the article. Then it's called a uh, uh, reliable sources. That's a gatekeeper for quality control. I think about Wikipedia, right? Anyone can put it there; it can get published. So it's not it's not reliable. Okay, that's a gatekeeper. Like the uh, gatekeeper can be like the editor, right? Yeah, but can also be a uh, do you call do you know this term peer review? Anybody knows what's peer reviewed? Okay, don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, peer, yeah, yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, peer reviewed is um, the other professor which is in the same field and to review the, um, the passage uh, to decide whether this is uh, correct or not. Uh, yeah, yeah, almost right. Okay. Can I have your room number and your name? 
Uh, I'm in room one and I'm Alex from Jane Tribune uh, today. Okay, okay. Yeah, good. So Alex, right? You just call me. Uh, okay. So Alex, room one. Good. One mark. Uh, one take, okay. And one mark for your group, okay. Extra mark. Yes, right. Um. Uh. Yeah. Here it means it means not an article, not an article. I, I I have I've done the research. I like to have it published. I write paper, okay, to publish in a journal. For example, uh, A B C journal. I like my paper to be published in that journal. So I send my paper to A B C journal, and then there is a uh, there's a practice uh, in our field. We got peer reviewed means that or called double blinded, double blinded. What does it mean? Means there will be uh, two, usually two people. Two, they will invite, they will invite uh, two, two, uh, two teachers or two scholars, two people to look at, to read my paper. And then they can say, uh, okay, good, publish. Or no, reject, cannot publish, too bad. Or uh, major revisions are needed before publishing. Or minor, minor revision needed. So they can decide my fate, you see? And these two people called double. Two people, blind because they don't see my name. To be objective, they don't see my name. So we got this system called P reviewed my article to control the quality. If if you got the P review, means the the paper is uh, have some guarantee of quality. It's okay. Yeah. So remember, gatekeepers have or don't have. Okay. Uh, any P review have or don't have, have then become reliable. It's okay? Yeah. No. So, um, we talk about what are unreliable later, right? What are reliable later? Mm -hmm. Now we go to something else first. Now, I'd like uh, to show you some databases. Your databases means uh, uh, a, a pool of data with many journals, many newspapers, many books, all put online in one single database, okay? We got many databases, and for your course, for your major, um, you can go to these three here Science Direct Index, expand this, the first one, or Scopus, or this one. Okay, it doesn't matter. Or even one is also very good, I put here. Uh, you can take a photo, students. I always add something to the course notes. If you feel useful, you take photo or or drop down the notes okay? for Quest database. Okay, now I'm going to show you how can you find articles from uh, these databases. I first show you is uh, the ProQuest databases, the most useful, and then show you as corpus. But similar, similar method, okay? Uh, so I go to ProQuest databases first. Uh, let me uh, go to our library, our library uh, website. CTU. Hmm. Yeah, you have to do right research very often at university. You must know the way. Uh, so, e just here, e resources. And then you pick databases. And then by title, okay, by title. I look at here, A, B, C, D here. Uh, ProQuest, right? P R O. So, start with P. Okay, this is all P here. And then you go down to ProQuest databases, this one, ProQuest databases. And then you click this one. And then you see this one, you click one more time. Click this one, one more time. Okay, now, now here, uh, you can search here. Uh, you, see, you can use books, uh, audio, video, dissertation. Okay, uh, light pollution. This is your topic, right? Uh, pollution. Okay, the key words, pollution. And um, also you can, okay. And then you can start to search, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. You can take a, you can choose full text available or peer review, okay? You can control how many items uh, will be shown to you. I want to show how to read this one. Okay, now pollution. Uh, this is the article title. The paper is called research, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, the office here. Um, Shu is the surname. Shu Wang Wang and Pen. There are four people. Okay, we use APA style. We use a surname like Siu Wong Chen, right? Yeah. Not the not Peter, not David. Okay. Yeah. And then um, look at the source, the publication type. You see? Now this is a journal name. The name of the journal. And this is a volume. Volume seven to eight. The issue number. Now what is volume? Do you know? Anybody know what's the what's the volume? Haha. <laughs> uh, Maybe I guess the you don't type. Yeah, try, yeah, try. Uh, maybe the type or volume uh, is like a chapter uh, of that particular paper. I think uh -huh. the session. Uh-huh. Uh, hey, uh, there are two voices. Right? So maybe uh, uh, remember you first tell me your name, like room two, uh, Alex, uh, room three, Herman. I need to know your name first. And then I can find your name and put a tick in your name and then you answer. Okay, yeah. So will you try again? Okay. It's, it's um, room two, Azad. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You were speaking. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you, you just speak first, please. Uh, all right. It's it's room two, Azad. Uh, I think volume is like a chapter of that particular paper or uh -huh. that particular journal. Uh-huh. Yes, oh. so vol volume 728 means uh, chapter 728 of uh, the uh, paper IOP conference series dot dot dot. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of. Okay, I give you point A for your group. Okay, close. Okay, okay. And let me see the next few that uh, I heard another voice was like, let's try. And uh, room one and Tom, and I oh. think that's what uh, VOL form is uh, about a uh, session. Yeah, a session. Mm. It's session one, session two, session 738. That's just what I think. Okay. okay, thank you. Um, I give you point five. Okay, I uh, close, but not exact, but still okay. Uh, point yeah, five. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I want to answer this question. Huh? I want to answer this question. Yes, right. Yeah, anyone can just yeah. tell me your name. And yeah, your name I'm again. room three Nelson. Okay, yeah. And I think volume is mean the book. For mm. example, like volume one is the no, book number one. Uh huh. The volume 728 type means uh -huh. the book number oh. 728, the published, oh. uh -huh. published book. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, good try. I give you again point five. <laughs> okay. The, uh, yeah, this, now it is a journal. Uh, yeah, it's not book. Here is a journal. Journal also got volume. Yeah, so you, what you say is right, but it's for book. But not for journal, what's the volume? What is the issue? Uh, okay, I'll show you now. Okay, students. Uh, you got very good good try. I'll show you now. Okay, uh, for journal, I'm talking about journals. Okay, journals need some uh, professional magazine. Those journals, right in your field, there's some uh, professional magazine. Uh, maybe uh, written by some engineers. Right in my field, uh, the journal is written by uh, some teachers of English. Okay, uh, so look at volume and issue. Uh, for example, in 2000, year 2000, now, journals are published uh, several times a year only, maybe four times per year, or even two times or three times. For example, in January, it's the first issue. Okay, and then in April, that's a second, it becomes second issue. Maybe, and then uh, July, the third issue, October, the fourth issue. So four issues all together in that single year. Okay, and then the issues, I mean, maybe it's uh, about 20 pages, 30 pages, right? And then because there are four separate issues, right? Very not convenient, right? For story. And that's why the journal, I mean, maybe the editor or someone will find, will find, find the four issues into one thicker book, thicker, thicker, thicker publication. We call it volume. The four thin separate issues are combined or bound into one thicker thicker publication we call volume one in 2000 okay uh, similarly like in 2001 okay again january the first issue 
April 2nd issue, et cetera, et cetera. So in this year, 2001, so what's the, what would be the volume number? I'm going to ask you now, group by group, okay? And now follow the order. Okay, room one, student A is Alex. So Alex, you guess Hello. the volume number for, for this 2001? Yes. Uh, volume, volume, volume five. Look at here. Oh, okay. Thousand is volume one. Okay. So two thousand and one volume two. Yeah. Okay, that's volume two. Good mark for your group, Alex. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So just per year, one year, one volume. Okay, one year, one volume. Anything? Uh, anyone? Uh, anyone? Uh, not clear? What? Want me to explain again about volume? Yeah, one year, one volume only. Okay, and then there's several issues. Done. Mm. Okay. Uh, so that is a volume issue. So I go back to uh, here. Oh, go back. Go back to the uh, to the website. Ah, uh, yeah, here. Uh, so from now, uh, so this is the uh, journal name. Once you see volume, must be a journal. You see volume and issue number, it must be a journal, cannot be a book. APA format, they got fixed elements to show for each type of things. Book, show something else, not the publisher. Journal, we, we don't show publisher, we just show the volume and issue. Okay, yeah. So uh, let's try one more time, look at this one. Look at this one. Uh, what's the, the paper title? Uh, simulation and then um, a conference series Bristol. Which one is the paper? The paper title. Uh, I asked a set room two A. Hello, a set. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. The paper title will be a uh, simulation of point source pollution transport process in the lower uh, Yellow River during non flood season. Yeah, well done. One more for your group. Yes, yes. That's the paper Thank you. title. <laughs> <laughs> the journal, it is a journal. It's a journal name, right? It's a journal name. IOP uh, journal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The IOP conference yeah. series. Earth and Earth. Yeah. Okay, next question for uh, room three Herman A. Eh? What is the volume number? Herman. Hello, Herman, are you here? Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, volume. Um, it says 790. Yeah, 719. Yes, right. Okay. Yeah. Good one, Mama. <laughs> okay. And the issue number, uh, Alden, room four. The issue number should be four. Yeah, miss the fourth, it may be in October, right? Okay, good. Okay, so this uh, how we see, I want to mark my good. This is the uh, uh, journal information. Hold on. Okay. Now, and then you see there's some full text. You can see the full text, right? If you click here, means you can see the full version. So uh, it's very convenient to do research nowadays. So convenient. Just click the button, you get the full text. Okay, yeah. So, um, okay. Now I'm going to show you is another database, right? Yes, um, Scopus, that one, Scopus. Ah, again, for this one, you can, I, I like to see full text, you pick this one. I like to choose only the peer reviewed. So I don't have too many, uh, right? Too many items, maybe 10,000 10, items. I want to narrow down to only 100. I can specify, I, I only, want, only want to see those paper with full text. I only want to see those paper with peer review, then you can make it narrower, okay? Uh, so I close this uh, progress, then I go to uh, the Scopus. Also one more time to the library, so you can uh, see it one more time. Okay. Um, uh, library, okay. Okay, now let me uh, uh, test your memory. Okay, where, which button should I start um, to find the database, uh, Scopus? I go to room five. Huh, uh, room five, A student. Uh, a student, do we, um, Amanda, yeah, Amanda. Amanda, where should I start? 
Um, Which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then? Mm. <laughs> members can help members. Next step is what? E resources. I thought I give Amanda and maybe point, point, point 0.6. Okay. What's the next one? Any group want to get the mark? Call your group name and your name. Next button is what? Databases. Yeah, very good. Call your. Uh, remember, always tell me your group name and your and your name. Uh, group five, Kyle. Uh, thank you. Right, then we'll be faster. Right? Yeah. Okay. One mark, one tick for you, and one mark for your group. Yeah. That is database, and then by title. Okay. We're going to use Scopus. So here, S Scopus, S right Scopus for engineering, and then you scroll down here. Scopus here, right? Yeah, click this one and then one more time. One more time. Okay, now this is a bit different the interface. Now, here again, you uh, you click here, search within. You can specify I want to use keywords or use the author's name, maybe keywords. Okay, yeah. So, and then you type here pollution. Okay, pollution, and then um, and then search. Yeah, again, you see a lot, right? Oh, now you see here a bit different here. This is the paper title, the, the paper, the article, the article title, and the authors, right? Uh, uh, Don, one, and the Wu Fan, the surname. Remember surname, Bai and Zhao. Okay, and the journal name is here. Journal name, journal name. And this the okay. You guess what is one one two? This the page number. One one two is what? Uh, uh, anyone want to one, one, one uh, Alex, uh, volume. Yeah. yeah, volume. Very good. The one mark from your group. Yeah, volume. That is volume. Okay. Yeah. And no issue number. Issue number one two three four only optional. Only optional. Why? You got the page number, right? So page number is one single publication now. The this bang already, right? In the the four single issues have have been bound into one single one thicker publication, and we got the page number. So even without the issue number, doesn't matter. The page number of the final version, right? You can find the find the article. Yeah. So each number uh, is optional. Okay. Now, so you can see the abstract means a summary, or you can check any uh, whether it has a full text or no full text. You can click here, check status. Chat status. Okay. Uh, so you see here, this is the same paper. Um, um, let's see, show more. Show this. Uh, here, you see? You see this one, download? Means you got the full paper here. Download PDF. If you if you don't see one, maybe no full paper. All right. Yeah. So um. Okay. So far, students. Yeah. So you can do the same to do your research. Okay. Done. Okay. Yeah. So um, I hope you can explore this one. Okay. Done. So volume. Uh, uh, pages, right? Yeah, pages of the article. Okay, then we go back to here. Uh, so ProQuest and uh, Scopus and other bases. Okay. Um, after my demonstration, now I'd like to go to next exercise. It's about the publication type. It's an exercise. I'd like you to do this one. But there are four sources. Um, Source A, source A, is it a book? Is it a journal article? Is it a, a website article? Or what is it? Okay, yeah. So uh, this is the how it looks like. You guess what it is. Later you discuss in your breakout rooms. And then source B, you guess what it is. Right, base uh, And then source C, you guess what it is. 
and then source D uh, or it is. Now, before you can discuss uh, meaningfully, let me teach you something first. Otherwise, okay, it may not be meaningful to discuss. I show you something. You also see this handout in my folder. It is a sample reference list. Okay, let me explain to you how to use, how you can, what you, information you can use to recognize what the publication is. Is a book or report or what? Okay, yeah. Uh, so this is the last page. So your report should have this page references or list of references. Okay, uh, it is. I think you learn in, in uh, GE one four zero one. Right, you learn uh, APA style. Now for revision quickly. Um, you start with A, B, C order, A, B, C, D, E, alphabetical order of the surname, surname. Okay, now, so um, now I draw something. Okay, now, so this is the surname. How are they, this is compound surname. Okay, compound surname, uh, like uh, also compound surname. Uh, it's a simple one, a uh, BB. BB is the surname. L is the initial for the first name, the initial. Use the first letter of your first name, uh, like a uh, like Lily L for Lily, okay. Uh, T for Tom, like this, okay. So, uh, Lily, he's the second guy. The surname is Cummings, is the surname. M for maybe Michael, quite initials, okay. Okay, and then um, we go back to journal first. Easier to see from journals. This you learn from journals, like this one. Okay, the first one. Uh, so how to get yourself, so this is the paper title, and this is the journal name, right, journal multilingual, journal name, and this is the what, let me ask you now, I ask group six, uh, Felix, hello Felix. Yes, can you yes, repeat uh, the question? 20, 25 is what? <laughs> Um, let me guess. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a journal. Is it journal? It is a journal. Maybe the volume. Yeah, exactly. Good guess. One more, right? It's a volume. It's the format, APA style. This is the format for journal. Okay, how about you guess 1 to 23? What's that? I go to student B, uh, first room again. Timmy Kim. Hello, Timmy. Yes. What is this one? So the one, two, 23 is pages. Yeah. Good, exactly. Page number, one mark, okay. <clears throat> How about next one? Okay. Which one is the um, paper title? <coughs> Paper title. Uh, room two, Louis. Hey, hello. Uh, is the world angel English? Uh, uh, the pet magic of <laughs> yeah, it's it's writing, the, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Paper title. Uh, so one mark for Louis. <clears throat> okay, um for Ken. Ken, hello, what is hello. 20? Uh, the pages or, I don't know. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. Happy face. <laughs> Who want to get the mark or members can help? And I can help. And hmm. room one, uh, Tom, and 20 is a volume. Yeah, okay, good. One take and one mark for a good one. Yeah, it's volume. Okay, William. Okay, one seven nine to two hundred. What's that? We go to room three. Ken, I don't know. Ken, we go to. Uh, we go to room four. Okay, Matthew. <coughs> Hello. Mm. This is the page number. Of what? Of the the, the <coughs> book, the source. I watched the source. <laughs> the the page matrix of letter writing. Yeah, this is the paper or call, you call article title. Article, oh, article title. Yeah. Article title. Okay, one mark, right? Yeah. Okay, 
Now I'm going to talk about another thing. It's about uh, it's called editing book. Yeah, look this one. Um, uh, this one. Maybe you don't know this one. Ah, uh, this book is an edited book. Um, it means it's a book with many many chapters, but they got different writers, different authors. One single book got different authors. They write one chapter. Okay, now I show you a sim a sim a sim a simple version first. Another hand note. Edited book is a kind of books, but different from a normal book. Uh, for example, uh book names pollution. This is an editor. My Peter David Roberts. So the Mr. Roberts and the first name Peter, they one single person, right? <clears throat> And the publication year two thousand. Uh, pollution is a big topic. And then there are several chapters like air pollution, sound pollution, water pollution, and light pollution. Different angles, right? And then we got different authors. Uh, maybe John Bryce, the expert in air pollution, so he wrote a chapter. And then sound pollution, maybe a uh, Chen Kai Ming is the expert in sound pollution, so he write another chapter. Mary White is an expert for water pollution, so she wrote uh, chapter three. Light pollution, uh, Wong Chia's son is the expert, okay, so he wrote another chapter. So the whole book is composed of four chapters, uh, different, different, written by different experts. Okay, it's quite an edited book. It's very popular nowadays because the knowledge getting more and more complicated, right? And it's hard that one single person know all the things. That would be co uh, collaboration. Okay. If I use an article, if I use an article, uh, I use chapter two. I use chapter two. I want to quote the sentence in chapter two. Okay. Now, so what do I write here? So in my reference, in the in the reference list, I first write the author's name. Who wrote this chapter? Okay. Next question. I go to room five, student B, Angus. Who wrote this uh, chapter two? Chen Kai Ming. Okay, so um, I write this one. Chen, only surname, only surname. And then Kai Ming, how do you write Kai Ming? Uh, I go to room six, uh, Tim Ko. Hello, Tim. Kai Ming becomes what? Are you here, Tim? Not here, but Tim not here. Now, so, uh, 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 if someone not here, I'll put a cross. You see my, my handouts? I put a cross. It's not here. So when you come back, you have to tell me, uh, you have to let me know if by the uh, chat box, uh, I just been to the, the bathroom or the, the uh, washroom. Yeah, okay. If one or two times doesn't matter, if I if I put many many courses, okay, it's always not here. It will affect your participation mark. Okay, you, uh, okay, yeah. So one or two times doesn't matter, but always means that uh, affect your okay participation mark. Okay, Tim Ko, are you here, Tim Ko? No, so I go to Woody first. Woody. Yes. So Kai Ming becomes what you know? Uh, what the initials? Is it the uh, first lamp? I'm oh, sorry, can't hear. I'm sorry. Is it the first lamp? Yeah, Kai Kai is the first name, Ming the second name. But we don't we don't write the full name. So this K A I becomes what? What's the initial? Initial. Yeah, exactly. Good. Well done. Okay. So uh, Woody get one mark for the girl. Okay. Okay, what is the publication year? Publication year. Uh, let me go to student. Student B. Student B. Uh, read this. Yes, and the publication pu publication year is 2000. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how do you make the reference list, okay? 2000. And, you put, and then you put the paper title first. Paper title. What is the article title? Uh, Oscar. Hello. Yeah. I like so, chapter two. So what's the chapter title or article title? Some pollution. Yeah. Title. Yes. Yeah, one mark for all stars group. Okay, so I put here uh sound pollution. 
Okay, so we put the paper title first. Okay, and then where is this article? It is in a book, right? Is it in? In is in the book. Okay, and then put the book name. What's the book name? I go to uh, Nelson. Yeah, the book name is Pollution. Yeah, so you write in Pollution. Okay, and in Pollution, and then there's an editor. Who's the editor? Um, who's the editor? I go to uh, Room for Teddy. Uh, Peter. Yeah, Peter David Roberts. Yeah, Peter Roberts. Yeah, but then now be careful. This time we put the initial first for the editor, Peter David, and then Roberts. Okay, for the editor, we put the in we put the surnames later. Okay, but the authors, you see, author Chen is a surname, the front. Editor is at, at later, okay. All right, now he's editor, so I put uh, edit, edit, okay, and then put the book name here, solution. That's it. And then, but that what's the page number of chapter two? What's the page number of chapter two? Uh, edit, uh, edit, edit, but when we go to Kyle, uh, Kyle, uh, Kyle, you write here. Kyle, not here. Put a yes, I'm here. You're here, okay, I'm yeah. Here. What's the page number of uh, chapter two? <laughs> Five. One page? No. <laughs> is it chapter Five. one? Uh, if you may guess, this is do some calculation. Chapter one starting oh. from page one. Chapter two starting from page page five. Chapter three, oh, sorry, chapter, uh, yeah. four page. So what's the page number exactly? Page what to page what? Page five to page seven. Yeah, exactly. Three right. pages. <laughs> right, okay. So it is, uh, uh, so you put here the page number, PP five to seven. Okay, my next question. Uh, what is why? Why do I say PP? Why do I say one single P? Why is a uh, double P? I go to uh, Woody. I don't know. Uh, Tim Co. Are you back, Tim Co? Not yet back. Then I go to Felix. Student A, Felix. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Can you repeat the question again? Sorry. No problem. I will. My question is, why do I put PP here? Why don't I say just P? Why PP? <coughs> well. <laughs> mm, guess. Maybe they are not, not only one page and they have maybe a few pages, so you use PP? Exactly, smart, yeah, smart, yeah. It's the missed pages. Pages, PP, okay, one page is page, page five, but PP means uh, five to seven, okay? Yeah. And then, because it's a book, at the end, uh, I put the publisher. You have to put the publication place. If it is a book, publication place. For example, uh, for example, I put uh, USA, okay? And then the publisher, okay, the company, right, publisher. For example, I put uh, Cambridge. Uh, university press okay so now i got the information you have to tell the readers here if it is a book put the publication place first publication it's free competition any group want to get the mark what's the publication place call your room number and your name <laughs> room one uh, usa yeah, exactly. Good one mark, right? So you put USA here, USA. And then here must be a colon. There's a system, colon, the dot dot, colon. And after the colon, you put the pub publisher. Who want to get this mark? What's the publisher? Uh, Grand Alex Cambridge University Press. Yeah, Alex, good. 
So you put here Cambridge University Press. Yeah. Okay. So it finished. So that is one uh, one entry. So if you see a colon, this a colon, it must be a book. It's the it's the signal, or it may be a report. Okay. So colon means book or report, never journal. Okay. And then for AP style, you have to use indent. Look at here. Look at here. Indentation means you you skip five letters. So this is the one entry, one item. Like two, you have to skip skip five letters using the rule. Okay. And then next one, maybe uh maybe uh maybe uh another another guy. Okay. Maybe uh D um Dorins and then initial something like that. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, called edited book. Understand now? Edited book. Okay. Any questions so far? If not, we go back to this one. Okay, I'm just explaining, right? Uh, edited book. Uh, we go to something uh, more complicated here. This one. Uh, so, uh, look at this one. Bauman, ethnography, da da da. Is it the paper title or the uh, book name? Which one is the book name? Okay, my question. Which one is the book name? Uh, the ethnography, blah blah blah, or the style? Which one is the book name? Anyone like to try? I would like to give a try. Yeah. And yeah. room one, Tom, and I think it's the second one, the style and the soul. So Those statistics. Yeah, yeah. Not a great fifth. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo, bingo. One more. Okay, good. Well done. Okay. Next question. Okay, um, yeah, what's the um who's the who's the author of the paper? Yeah, is it Bauman or or Eckert and Rickford? Who is the author of the paper Ethnography? Anyone like to try? Yes, I would like to try. Uh, room two, Azad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bauman is the author, and uh, Rickford is actually the editor. Ah, very good. Okay, well done. Also one mark. Yeah. So there are two editors. Edits, edits. My right? S means plural. Okay, good. Uh, you see that like, publisher, right? Publication place and publisher, and then that like, this in is a signal. Means the article in this book. Okay, in is a signal for edited book. Okay, now, mm. so I think I hope this is clear to you, right, students? And uh, one more, I like to um like, like this one, this one. It is a book, right? Because you see the column must be a book. This is the publication place, at, at Eaglewood Cliffs, and the publisher Pentis Hall. And the book name is in italics. Book name, book name, title, subtitle. Okay, it's a book. Look at this one. Now uh, this one, you see the colon, right? Colon. But this is a report. It's a report. It's a report, right? Report. This is a report title, grammatical structures. Uh, but look at this one. Uh, uh, ED. ED. It is an open resource. The open open resource. Uh, ED um, represent actually is a. Eric is another database. Eric is the acronym means a, a represent educational resource resource information center. Okay, it is open. What does it mean? There's no gatekeeper. No gatekeeper. Anyone can upload their paper there. So it is not not so reliable. It's no gatekeeper. Even a very poor quality paper can get published in the website. So you must know when you see an open database, you know there's no gatekeeper. It means the less reliable. Okay. Um, and this uh, this the the number of the article in that database. But but let me add more. Uh, this open database is not totally uh, without control because uh, it is a requirement. Your paper must be presented in a conference. The conference, for example, I got a paper. I will present it in the USA, in, in, in Canada, okay, a conference. I go there to present my paper first. After I presented the paper, then I'm qualified to put my paper in the Eric database. It's free of charge. Okay, so still, but there's no gatekeeper. But you can say that because the conference, right, there's a gatekeeper. The paper have to, the abstract uh, have to be approved by the conference organizer. So kind of uh, control, yeah. But there's no full paper, only the abstract they see. Okay, okay, now it's called open databases. Less reliable. Okay, now, 
Uh, okay, students, that's my teaching so far. Uh, before you have the exercise, I'd like to count marks, right? See which group are the winners of the- I, I have a question, actually. Yeah, good. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, does open database mean it is not peer reviewed? And uh, no peer review, no. Good question, okay. no. Okay. No, open means anyone can upload there and then get published. But then this one has got a precondition. Your paper has to be presented in a conference and then you can upload the paper there. So that's not strict quality control. Okay, I said, thank you. Yes. Yeah, good question. Uh, I give you one mark for the question. Sometimes a good question also get one mark. Okay, so do ask questions. Okay, uh, let's come us now. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight point five for room one. One, two, three, four, five, five point eight for room two. Oh. And then room three, one. 1.5 and a happy face, okay, 1.5. And room four, room four, uh, one, two, three, three marks, okay. Uh, room five is uh, one, uh, one, oh, 2.6, 2.6. Room six, one, two, three, three marks. So we just put one, 8.5, okay, so well done. Uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, give every member a mark, okay, and then I put in my record and then the, at the end, I mean, account the uh, who has the highest marks. You get souvenir from me, okay? Real souvenir from maybe a uh, country I travel to, okay? So I, I will check the member whether they are here. Alex, are you here? Yes, I am here. Yeah, then you got one mark. If you are not here, then no mark, right? Yeah, uh, Timmy, 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 King, Timmy, Timmy, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Good. Uh, Tom? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, Willis. Yes, I'm here. Good. I'll get one mark, right? Yeah, well done. I hope others can catch up, okay? Other students may win next time. Okay, hope so. Okay. Uh, so, um, I stop. Uh, then I go back to the exercise you're supposed to do. Go back to this one. Okay. Now, after the break, I'll give you five minutes to read these uh, four sources. You try to tell me whether it, uh, whether C is a book or edited book or website article or journal, whatever, okay, or, or report. Yeah. Okay, that's after the break. Okay, so now I stop sharing. Um, now I write down the time, you come back, right? We did a break because you can't sit at the computer uh, too long, too tiring. Okay, um, two, 223. Uh, 223, you come back. Okay, uh, 223. Okay, yeah. Again, I open the big car rooms. Welcome to join. It's up to you. You want to make friends, uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. See you in twenty in ten minutes.
Hello, hello, students. Back to the main session. Welcome, right? Okay, now I'm going to let you go to big car rooms. Oh, um, okay, I'll let you um, look at uh, the four sources, right? May give you three minutes to say three minutes, take a quick look. I think not too difficult. And they have big car rooms, okay? Mm. So three minutes first to study uh, the four sources individually first. <coughs> If you cannot find the um, course book, you let me know, okay? Yeah. Three minutes. And sorry, teacher, yeah. uh, I can't join in the room free. No, not really to join, not individually, individually. Oh, you okay, okay, thank you. Exercise. Think about that first, yeah. Thank you for the question. Hello, students. This has some technical problems. Can you hear me now? I guess. Okay, good. Just yes. a Wi Fi problem. Sorry about that. Okay. So now I'm going to open the big car room. Now you discuss for five minutes. Um, I hope that's the leader. The lead, uh, I'll say a leader every time. Um, the leader will, but very important people, they help me to 
organize the discussion. Uh, for example, you say, let's take turns. So A, student A can say something, other members can uh, agree and why, or sorry, I don't agree and why. I hope there's some interaction. Yeah, because like in your meeting assessment, you have to interact. It's good practice in real time discussion. Okay, uh, so, um, so the leaders, can you do a good job? Make sure everyone, okay, have some time to present the answers and good members are giving good uh, reinforcement. Okay, uh, so five minutes. Today the leader is uh, student A. This time it's student B, we take turns. Okay, and then after a few lessons, we will repeat A again, okay. So uh, uh, room one, Alex, you are the leader, okay? Okay. Thank you for helping. A room to assert you are the leader. Yes, thank you. Thank you. A room three, Herman, leader. Okay. Room four, uh, Alden. Okay, okay. Okay, number five, Amanda. Yes. Okay, room six, Felix. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, so, uh, leader, can you control the time five minutes? and finish the four sources, what they are. And also you can, if it is journal, you try to identify the journal name, the volume number, if it's the editor book, who's the editors, uh, who's the author, etc. Apart from the, the sources, what they are, have, if time allows, get some details, okay? Uh, so five minutes, and then we'll be competition. Okay, let's start. Leaders, help please, okay. Hello, students. Back to the main session. Uh, I, I know some students, uh, some group hasn't finished yet. Okay, but doesn't matter, right? Uh, now we yeah, we ran out of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's about this time. So <laughs> running short. We can do it together as the whole class. Okay, now, now uh, to save time, I just let it go into free competition. If you want to try um, later on, you just call, yell, yell out. Like room one, Felix, uh, room two, uh, Peter. The louder, the better. I can hear your name. I can hear your voice. You get the chance to get the mark. That's for fun, okay? To shout the louder, the better, okay? So let me share my screen. So I don't follow the order. That's a free competition. You want to try, say, woman, Peter, if I can hear you, you can get the chance. Okay, so I go to um, the, the, here. Wait, wait for me, okay? <laughs> wait for me to, uh, before you shout, okay? Okay, room, uh, source A, what's that? Uh, room one, uh, Tom, and uh -huh. it's a journal. Uh -huh, yeah, okay. we think that we is a journal. Uh, let me see, okay. Yeah, it is a journal, correct. Okay, any objection, you can ask. If you say, I don't agree, you can object. You can also get one mark if you're right. It's a journal, right? Yeah. Um, uh, um, uh, Tom, can you tell me more why it is a journal? Tell me a bit more. 
Um, because the firstly, we can see that obviously, and um, there is a journal right in the topic here, the website, before the website, you can see that. And also uh, we can see that the, uh, it's not too long. The, the article is not too long. We can uh, also think about this. It's, it's just uh, for the readers to easy to read. So we think that is a journal. Yeah, this okay. is okay. Okay, okay, yeah, right, yeah, it's a journal, it's a journal, you're right, okay, yeah, and thank you for the explanation. Anyone like to add more to the explanation, why it's a journal? Okay, let me tell you more, okay, because it's got the volume number, you see the volume, 28 is the volume, you see that, volume? Volume must be a journal. That's the key. How to how to how to recognize by the is by the information included. Volume is a journal, and the page number one o nine one one o nine six the vol is the page numbers, and the journal name. Journal name is um this this one computers in human behavior. It's a journal name, and this the article name article title is the long one individual okay and the authors of the paper. And okay, one extra question. Now this is an online journal. Uh, remember, uh, this is a journal, a paper version. But now all the journals go to databases. So in, in one of the databases, you can see this journal. Okay, but it was paper version originally. And then people upload to the database. So that's got uh, the database version and the paper version. You see, there are two sources. You can go to the library to the shelf and pick up that journal, paper version. Or you can just online go to the database of library, the database, and then you can see that journal, okay? Who can see the database name? What's the name of the date? Not, not, you don't see progress here, right? Do you know the database name? Anybody can see that? Roman Alex. Yeah, Alex, yeah. Uh, Els, Els, uh, Oh, okay, yeah, good, good try. I give you um, <laughs> a beautiful flower. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. This LCV uh, is the publisher. The publisher published this journal. Uh, this is not the database, but good guess. Anyone like to try again? Or oh, you can try again. Uh, uh, I, I, I room two is on. Uh, room two, I, I heard room two. Uh, is that set? I, I heard your name, is it? Yes, room two is on. Uh, sorry, database? Uh, the database should be Cyber Science Direct. Uh, very good. Just here, yeah. you see? Content available at Science Worst Science Direct. This is the database name. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now. Good. Okay. Um, any question before I go to another one? Anyone has a question about this, uh, this source? Okay, good. Okay. Free competition. Source B. What's that? One five Kyle. One five Kyle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think this is a book. Yeah, exactly. It is a book, right? It is simple, right? This is the title. This is the subtitle. And two authors. Two authors. Okay, it is a book. It's a publisher. Okay, yeah, good. It's the contents page, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, um, uh, so see. A uh, room for Elden. Yeah, Elden, okay. Yeah. Uh, it is an edited book. Yeah, very good. It's an edited book, right? Yeah. Yes. Can you tell me more. What do you know about that? Can you tell me more information? Mm, uh, you mean the reason why I know that it is edited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, in the title page, we can see edited by S. Uh -huh. Dot yeah, sing, sing. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's, that's it. Okay, good, good. Okay. Anyone like to tell me more why you know it is an edited book? Oh, yeah. Uh, the contents page has uh, more than one white tongue. Ah, very good, right? Yeah. The contents page, we see uh, more than one of, yeah, yeah, many names, right? Uh, very good. Andy, uh, Clip, Friend, right? Dodge, right? Yeah, very good. Okay. So I can't hear your name one more time. What's your name? Sorry. Tim. Which group? Boom V. A room three team. Okay, good team lead. Uh, one mark. Well done. Okay. Okay. The let's see. The last one. Room two Azad. Room two Azad. Yeah. It is a web page. It's a web page. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can act actually see buttons on the top and like an ad on the right side, and you can also like notice the web address at the bottom. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. One more. Yeah. Anyone like to add something? Yeah, it is actually. Actually, how about how do you do Gama this one? Gama Sutra. What's that one? Gama Sutra. What's this one? I think that is a website name. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, and you are? And I'm uh, room one, uh, Tom. Yes. Tom, okay. This, uh, okay, thank you. This, uh, the, the sounds very similar. So you must tell me your name, okay? So good, yeah. So actually, this is the magazine name. It is an online magazine. Online magazine. And this is a magazine name, the organization. So this is an um, online uh, magazine article. Of course, it's not reliable. A magazine are not very not not academic sources, not academic sources, uh, but you can still use it. We use some uh, reputable uh, news network like uh, BBC, CNN. They are not academic sources, but they are reputable, miss famous, so still can be counted as like reliable sources. Okay, kind of reliable, or right, but not as uh, reliable as journals and those things. But okay, some famous one. Okay, now. Good. Uh, so students, um, any questions before I go to the next step? No, okay, well done, okay. Let me come us now for this one. Okay, uh, one, two, two and a flower, okay, for uh, room one. Uh, uh, one for room two. If I do some uh, mistake, let me know, okay. Room three is one. Room four is one. Room five is also one. Room six, a lot yet, okay? So the winner should be room one. It's uh, Alex, uh, Timmy, Tom, and Willis. They got two marks. Uh, well done again, okay? Fiona. Yeah? Uh, we actually answered two, two questions for room two. Room two? Yes. Ah, yeah, two questions. Yes, yes. Oh, I missed that. Okay, also two marks yeah. then. Okay, thank you. So they're double winners, okay? Yeah. I always remind me okay, because sometimes right, yeah, too many talents make me mistake. Okay, so let me check the people. Now, Alex, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Timmy. Yes. Yeah, Tom. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, Willis. Yes, I'm here. Okay, uh, and then go to uh, room two. Uh, as I said, you're here, right? Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Louis. Yes, I'm here. Oscar. I'm here, yes. Steven. Yes, I'm here. Good. They also get one mark, right? I put it to my record. Okay, well done. Okay. Uh, so students, now um I like to show you the answer key quickly uh, of these uh, exercises. Um as a as a summary. Okay, let's talk. It's the one answer key. Yeah, here, yeah, okay. Uh, so it's here. Uh, we go back to the exercise. We unreliable sources like what? Uh, like uh, <clears throat> um, not credible the sources, it's not, not famous, or there's no uh, peer review, has not gone through rigorous uh, referee. Referee means peer review, okay? Uh, examples, no good is uh, Wikipedia, don't use forums, personal blogs, right? Blogs, anyone can write anything there, of course, not reliable. Assignments, right? Your classmates' homework, right? Uh, we cannot be. Uh, Count as reliable sources. Uh, lecture of teachers depends on the teachers, how famous they are, how trustworthy they are. So it's reliable. It is debatable. Depends on the teacher's uh, reputation, his scholarship, etc. Okay, but you have to ask. If you use, uh, you have to ask the teacher first. Like a uh, professor Kaplan, can I call you? Can I call you in my research? If said okay, then you can call him. Okay, yeah. Reliable sources like a uh, uh, famous like a uh, BBC, CNN. Uh, had got an appeal reviewed, okay, and got the source, at least they got the year and the offer. If no offer, no year, you can't say that's reliable, right? Uh, like uh, journals, reliable, books, reliable, uh, reputable magazines, newspapers, government publications should be reliable. Depends on the government, but on the whole, we can't as, uh, we can't as reliable, okay? A manual should be reliable. Um, uh, some open sources. Oh, some company websites. Uh, if big companies, you can also use them. And let me recommend one. This, do you see Lincoln? Long time ago, uh, it should be okay, but now it's no longer available. The web page, so you can use two other websites. The company websites, 
uh, you can see how company designed their products. Hope you can get some idea for your for your question for your projects. Look at the company website, how they promote themselves, and what product they have done. Okay, some solution they design the hardware and software. Okay, so uh, two websites for you to explore after class before you settle down on your three question three possible topics. One is the this one, accurate. This is the website. Okay, company website you can try. Once I'm I'm scientific American. This is the website. Okay, I upload this page after class. Okay, yeah. So you see the website. This is the com the called open database. Uh, some company websites apart from the academic sources. Okay, now and the four sources: uh, journal one, uh, journal uh, number two is a book, right? Co-author two authors. Monograph means book, book, an edited book, and then a magazine, Gamma Sutra, online magazine. Okay, now so that is today's teaching. But now, be, uh, today I'd like to overrun for about five to ten minutes with the first lesson. I like to, I like to go to uh, the space forming groups, forming groups now. Uh, let me go to um, uh, this one. Okay, now quickly we form the initial groupings. Okay, and then you have to prepare three possible topics, bring to class, and then we do the lucky draw. See whether you can have your first choice. Okay. Yeah, prepare three possible topics. Uh, group one, I just uh, uh, as a as initial step, I just put some names here, and you are welcome to join those students. Um, today there are twenty four students present. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Are, are the topics for our blueprint? Yeah, one topic for the for the five assignments. Oh, okay. One single topic from the uh, page twelve. You see, right? There are five areas, right? Just three possible one and then you choose one next lesson finalize and then this is the topic for the whole semester for five assignments okay okay uh, today 24 but actually there are 25 students one is absent if that student doesn't come then simple 24 students then six groups four students but if he comes next week become 25 if 25 becomes seven, become, it must be eight groups. You can have seven groups, right? I suppose he will come, right? We assume he will come. So I assume it's 25 students. So we need uh, three, three, three. One is four. Three, 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 and then one is four, okay? So now, but, uh, so I just write any names here. You can join those students. And this student can also, say, I like to change another group, just uh, as a beginning, okay, as that. And then group three is uh, Herman. I use the student A, okay, and Alden. And group five is Amanda. And then group six is uh, Felix. Oh. Okay, Felix. And then group seven, I start from, uh, I go back to uh, group one, student B. So Timmy. I just, okay, yeah. Timmy, uh, Timmy Kim. And then group A, I go to room two, Louis. Okay, now you're know, welcome to tell me uh, you like to join which group. Or even the name like Herman, you say I like to join Elden, doesn't matter. Okay, very flexible. Okay, okay, now you tell me please which group you like to go to. Can I go to group one? And who are you? <laughs> I'm Herman. Pardon? I'm Herman. Herman, oh, okay, Herman. <clears throat> Okay, next one. And uh, Tom, uh, do you want the light? Oh. Uh, group one? Uh, group one, yeah. Tom, okay, yeah. Yep, and I'm Willis, and I would like to join group one. Okay, uh, Willis. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Kyle. I would like to join group two. Okay, Kyle. Now, next one. Yeah, can be fast. Yeah, I'm Nelson. I would like to join group four. Okay, the, the next one. I'm Matthew. I would like to join group four. Group four. Okay, next one. Uh, uh, I'm Yuki. I would like to join group four. Four. Yuki. Yes. Thank you. Um, but should be three students because 
uh, should be three, only one group can be four if 25 students. So you, uh, because group one got four, so you can go to another group. And most three now. Uh, because we have opened a group already. Uh, 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 who? Let me know. I, I'm Yuki. Yeah, and? And uh, we have, I'm group four and we have already opened a group and start discuss, discussing. You mean Eldon, Nelson, Matthew and Yuki? Yes. Oh, but then um, because they got four already. Uh, let's see, okay, let's see. Um, depends on whether uh, 24 or 25 students, okay? If 24, then you can have your wish uh, granted. If 25, maybe no, that should be three, okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, next one. Uh, Mika, I want to join group six. Uh, group six. Mika, okay. I'm yeah, Oscar. I'm, yeah. I'm join group eight. Group six. Group eight. Oscar, group eight. Group eight. Uh, Oscar, group eight. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Woody. I would like to join group eight. Uh, Woody, okay, yeah, fine, fine, yeah. Hello, I'm Wilson. I would like to join group two. Wilson, okay, fine. Wilson, right? Right. Any more students? Uh, Tim Cole. Excuse uh -huh. me. I'm uh -huh. Tim Cole. I want to join group six. Okay, Tim Cole. Uh huh. Hi, I'm Stephen. I would like to join group seven. Group seven? Yes. Okay, Stephen. Okay, yeah. I'm Ken. I would like to join the group seven. Okay, Ken. Uh -huh. I'm Angus. I would like to join group three. Angus, okay. Oh, okay. Angus, right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any more students? I am Tim. I want to join group B. Uh, you are Tim? Tim Lee. Tim Lee? Yes. Tim Lee? Yes. Okay, fine. Any more? That's all? Okay, okay, fine, okay. Now, so, now students, remember, this is only the initial grouping. Depends on how much, if someone drops, okay, uh, or someone add. So, depend, if 23 students, 22, or whatever, affect the, how many groups you can have. Okay, so don't think this is finalized, okay? Be ready to be moved to another group or lose one member, okay? So, maybe initially, allow you to uh, just um, think about three possible topics. Okay, and then ready, and then next lesson in the new grouping, in the final group, and then you can uh, compromise on the three group, uh, three topics for the group, and then lucky draw. Would that be okay, students? But Amanda, only one student. Amanda cannot be only one. Amanda, I move you to join Team Lee, okay? Uh, group three. Amanda. Yes, I'm okay. I move you to here, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, but oh, cannot be seven. Cannot be seven. Ah, okay, now, so anyway, um, uh, maybe, um, now, so anyway, depends on actual, the numbers, right? So maybe we just keep it like this. Um, do you like this way, students? Yeah, just keep it like this. And then next time, then we got the finalized list. We finalize the actual grouping. Would this way be okay, students? Any no, may I, may I uh, ask the question? Why cannot good. only seven group? Why we should always take? Yeah, yeah. Because as I mentioned at the beginning of the lesson, we, you will pair up team one and team two, you pair up to do some group activities. Oh. Okay. Yeah, one with, one with the kind team with the project team must be two teams to do something together. Like oh. the lesson eight, the information gap activity. Understood. Thank you. Yeah, must be seven. So that must be odd numbers. So um um so depends. 
Now, because if if the if the that left session comes, we join Amanda. Okay, and then two students, two students. Okay. Sorry, anyway. Amanda. Uh, Fiona. Uh, we can divide group six group maybe better, or each group have four students. Uh, sorry, what do you mean? Uh, we can more student for a group like four four student for one group and divide to six group at which is better maybe. Not enough. Then then one group got twenty five because twenty five students. If twenty five students, then one group got got five students. Not okay. Five students too many 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 members. You don't have enough thing to write for your report. Oh okay okay. Yeah okay. So how about this one? Um, so there's only two, only two, uh, but anyway, maybe we wait for, wait for next lesson. Okay. We'll be better. Okay. So every one of you will prepare three possible topics and then be ready. Have the actual partners next lesson. Would that be okay, student, this way? Yes. Yeah. I think that's better, right? Yeah. So yeah. I don't let you, I don't let you uh, discuss now in case you feel committed. No. Just is still uh, uh, individually, but you can prepare three topics. Okay, now? Mm. Now, it's still if, but um, anyone like to uh, um, exchange emails, exchange phone number with your initial members, I can do that. You want to have some initial contact with the initial members, I can open the big car room, I can open the main session, and then you can now use the chat room. Uh, okay, uh, so up to you. Now, yeah, please you, do, please do. Yeah. I give you five minutes. Uh, now you can use the chat box, the private chat. You find the people's name and exchange phone number. And then you can have meetings outside class time and choose the three topics. Be ready, but be prepared to be split, split up, okay, in the actual grouping. Okay. Okay. So I give you five minutes now. Uh, you can go to the chat, chat boxes, find your member's name, take a photo of the names. Take your photo of the names, and then you can find the and then give them your phone number, okay? Mm. Have you taken a photo or know your member's name? Mm. Can I stop sharing now? Can I stop sharing now? Have you finished taking, uh, write down your member's name? Can you give me some response, student? Have you taken, okay. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> okay, chat box now, use the private chat. You find your member's name and then give them each other the phone number. Okay. Five minutes. If you don't want to do it, you can go. You can quit if you don't want to do it, right? Then um, up to you. I, um, yeah. If you want to go, I'll say bye bye to you first. I'll see you next time. Yeah. But you can stay behind to exchange phone number. I'll be here. Okay. To answer questions. Fiona, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a class right now. Can I leave? Yeah, yeah, sure. You can leave. Yeah, you can leave. All right. Have a good day. Bye bye. Yeah, see you. Bye bye.
if you are done, you can go, right? Yeah, yeah. So I want to keep you, right? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Right? Yeah. Bye bye. I'll see you next time. Hello, Ken, Felix, and Matthew. Are you done? A bit more time. Yeah, done. Done. done we have right? a change about the uh, phone number. Oh, yeah. Don't hurry. Yeah. If you are done, you let me know, right? Then I'll end the meeting. And also, um, if finished, you can go. Yeah. Then I'll see you next time. So Stephen and Timmy, are you done? Hello, Stephen. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, Timmy. Yeah, yeah, we are done. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. See you. Bye, bye. <laughs>